This video is for firefighter recruits who are preparing to write the fact test for um, OFAI stage one. I had a question come in from a YouTube viewer named ST. Uh, thank you for asking the question. First of all, if you are a YouTube subscriber and you have questions about the firefighter test preparation materials, and you need some clarification, definitely send them my way. That is what this is for. Uh, if you're not a YouTube subscriber, definitely hit subscribe so you can ask questions and uh, you'll get your weekly video as well. Now, um, ST had a question about the uh, one of the questions in the firefighter aptitude and character test study guide. And that question is this. A group of four firefighters purchase groceries at the store. The cost for the item is as follows, $9.65, $3.25, $11.60, $5.85, In order for the bill to be equally split, Approximately how much does each firefighter owe, not including tax and rounded up to the nearest whole dollar? ST wanted to know why is the answer C? Okay, so when we're breaking down this word problem, we can see that we're working with decimals and there are two operations. First, we have to add the cost of the individual items up and then we have to divide. Now we know we're dividing because it says equally split in the word problem. Whenever you see equally split, you're going to be dividing. And in this case, we're dividing by four because they want to know how much does each firefighter owe? Well, we have four firefighters, so we're going to take the total amount and then we're going to divide it by four. Now, the first step is to add the individual items up. When we're adding decimals, the rule is to line the decimal up no matter where it is in the number and then put the decimal in line in the answer, okay? So you can see that line uh, represents all of the decimals that are both in the list you're adding and in the answer itself. So you do your adding and you come up with $37.85. You're going to divide that by four and when you do, you're going to get $9.46. Now, um, in general, the rule with rounding is you're going to look at the first number to the right of the decimal. And if that number is five or greater, you're going to round the whole number up. And I think this is where the confusion lies because it says that the answer is C, but if we followed that general rule, the answer would be nine. Now, the um, thing I want to draw your attention to is in the question, it, it tells you to round up, right? It's not just saying round to the nearest whole number, it's saying round up to the nearest whole number. So because of that, you want to follow instructions. And in this case, that's going to bring your answer to $10 which is going to give you C. Um, the only reason why this is the way it is is specifically because it's telling you to round up. So just be mindful of that. Do make sure to sign up to the Firefighter Career Test Prep mailing list. The link is in the description in YouTube or you can head over to smarttutoring.ca. Every week I give you five free firefighter test uh, questions that you can work through. And if you have any questions, obviously you can ask them here and I'm happy to do a video for you. Thank you and have a smart day.